Welcome everybody back to another bold cast reaction. I'm Lindsay. I'm Carson. And today we are watching Jujutsu Kaisen episode 21. 21. What happened last time? Last time was Gojo. Hope you guys enjoy this reaction. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Now and well, okay. okay. Mahito got the finger. We found out, and Hanami may or may not be dead. Gojo seems to think that there's a possibility Hanami got away, and they twisted up that guy's body in a horrific fashion that I was not prepared for. Mm -mm. That's actually what happened. Anyway. Oh, and then and then the uh, the freaking blonde person ran off. Yeah. So it's potentially everyone has escaped other than a uh, coat rat guy but hanami might ha have not gotten away but it's that's to be determined to be TV. however we ask you to please support the official release don't come here to watch the show for free come here to see what we have to say it's our reaction our review not a place to watch the show for free also if you like this video make sure to give us a like and subscribe for future stuff and with that let's get into it jujutsu kaisen episode 21 let's go oh <laughs> Hanami used like the roots and shit to escape. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Uh. Purple blood? What's the arm there? Oh, that's the sword. We have a tr traitor over here. <laughs> Two? All six. Cursed Womb Death Paintings. Did we hear about that before? I think I feel like we did. I remember Cursed Womb. Oh. Then I wonder how they figured it out. Where are they? Also, nice shirt, Ghetto. Immortality. ただの機関何かだと思ってくれていい。It was just a fucking <sighs> distraction. Distraction. I mean, we kind of knew that, but like the that's that they thought of that using the barrier in that way. I didn't mm -hmm. realize. A landmine. あ、ビニタドリだけその実家を組まだ。いや、いたどり。少なくとも <laughs> Well, there you go. Hmm. Plans indeed. I always don't really like that shot of uh, Gojo walking with flowers. Why? I don't know, because I, I just, the way he's walking, it seems like he's going to a, a funeral or a grave or something. I mean, blue roses, right? I don't know. They fucked people up. Okay. The, the coat rack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
。心当たりは。なーし。説得を超えてるだけじゃない。<笑>自白に強い術師いないの。って呪霊薬会社が。天元様の結界抜けられたのよ。手にした特急呪霊なんだ。<笑>特殊な気配を持ってる。呪霊は呪霊でも、精霊に近いんじゃないかな。青いの話だと。植物に潜り込めたらしいし、天様の結界も植物には機能しないでしょう。<笑>天元様の結界って、守るより隠すに全振りしてるから、懐に入られるとちょっと弱いよね。<笑>スクナの指による有事のポテンシャル強化を危惧した。それとも自分たちの強化目的。なんかしっくりこないんだな。とりあえず今は、学生の無事を喜びましょう。だが交流会は言わずもがな、中止です。おっと。<笑>それは僕たちが決めることじゃないでしょう。あんた、いつの間にあのゴリラと仲良くなったのよ。<笑>仲良くなったっていうか、だけど、<笑>俺が俺じゃないあんた。どうしてたの釘先は俺です。先に追いかれないと思ってるの。<笑>ショックなんだけど。メグミーズ、ちょっと、ホーリーシェット。ピザも増えてるしな。<笑>ああ、お、うん、いや、どうかのいいもん。<laughs> Just so clingy. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. You've been so close since middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how that's our new nickname. I don't think I'm actually that bad. Gojo in business clothes. <laughs> business cash. June Maeda would be proud of this, of this mm -hmm. episode. I was thinking that that, I was wondering if that baseball thing in the opening was real or if it was just another one of Toto's, like, yeah. Yuji, Yuji and Toto in school. Oh, this is the new exchange event. Yeah. Sports. They don't really, they need to, like, capture other cursed spirits if they're gonna do that shit again. <laughs> Very admirable view, I think. <laughs> he swapped him out just because. <laughs> Second base. Oh shit, I wanted to, I read, that. to read that. The mango something something. <laughs> Two L? Two losses? Kamo's just fucked. <laughs> like Practicing cursive. I can write my own name now. <laughs> I poop a lot the next 
Because my grandfather's- wait, no, that's not why. <laughs> it's just gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for proof of a credit card. I can read the rest. Mock. <laughs> Drew his face on it. <laughs> Hated mangoes. We got over it recently. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> the best me. Ah, I, so, so fast. fast. Oh, I bunt. Ah, fuck. Gojo's looking nice. Wants to punch a zebra someday? <laughs> One thing she can't tolerate is protein powder. She must not need it. <laughs> Stare down with the fake eyeballs. I can't tell if it's actually Mechmaru. It must be, there's a little camera, right? A little lens. Not even worried. That's trash. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so we're allowed to use our fucking abilities? <laughs> due, to, <laughs> due to the lack, lack of, of players? Won <laughs> <laughs> the middle school nationals with Itadori. Itadori <laughs> 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 okay, so it is actually Mechmaru. <laughs> well, you get to walk. <laughs> Intentional? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way they deliver that line, it's like it's real life. Oh my god. They just keep saying it! Everyone <laughs> Uh, the more I learn about Toto, the more I relate to him. <laughs> that is also true. And he knows, like, he knows he will die at some point as well, he's accepted that fact. Oh, does he regret with what happened to Ghetto? So Ghetto must have been his student then. Mm -hmm. it, he really must be like a school shooter type thing of like, if only I knew what was going on with him, if only I could, could have said something, this or that. Use Black Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Just a nice music. <laughs> Home run. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Well, that was a nice episode. That was good. That was nice. That was really nice because I feel like we did need just like a chill moment. Yeah. But it... It was only half the episode. The the baseball stuff. Mm -hmm. But the first half was like recapping the other side of the battle and stuff like that. It was, a, it was just a nice chill episode, but we did still like learn some new information at the beginning and 
know, we get to know what it the was, characters know versus what we know. It was more clarification. Like, yeah. it, it was less, like, we didn't really learn much. It was just, like, them, like, detailing explicitly their plan and how it all worked out. Because mm -hmm. it was, we pretty much knew everything that they said. It was just them, like, saying it so that we know what was intentional and what, what kind of planning went into that. But that's mm -hmm. interesting. We learned a little bit more about Ghetto as well, about how, um... Yaga is that his name or is that the other principal? I forget. I'm not sure. He uh, he they they feel some they have some regret based on how that came out, and that's partly informing their strictness with Yuji. Is because now they have another situ a similar sort of situation where they have the chance to prevent their students from doing something really fucked up. Mm -hmm. In this case, Yuji seem is maybe different, but we don't know the full details regarding Ghetto. So. Mm -hmm. Epic baseball game. I love just smacks Toto in the face. Everyone. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice, bitch. They just keep saying it over and over. I Like I said, the way they delivered that was so funny because it reminds me of like being in middle school or like high school during a game and everyone like, you know, calling. So like it, for some, somehow it might have been the sound mixing might have been the way they said it, but it just kind of brought me back to that. Like just playing in gym class or whatever. Kind of a weird thing, but like. I don't know. Just a, a testament to the presentation that they <laughs> that they really nailed that and also made it hilarious in the moment. It's funny because they're not like, yeah, nice pitch, but the, everyone's like, yeah, that was that was the right move. Once again, the the reversal like subversion of Toto not being like the big brother that everyone like looks up to and is he's always giving these inspirational speeches and shit and like really and everyone's like intense about everything and yes, I put my entire being behind everything I do and then. Everyone's just, like, so annoyed and exhausted by Every him. But everyone's just, like... But it's so funny because he's almost the coolest guy. He's just he's just not quite. Yeah. Like they said, oh, he's, like, weirdly... Like, he weirdly knows what he's talking about. And, yeah. And does the right thing and says the right thing, but he's also just super annoying and overly dramatic the rest of the time. Yeah. Yeah, I very much relate to that with Toto. I, I can be that way sometimes. I also love how um, Yuji even was just like, as soon as they're not fighting anymore, the brother thing gets old Yeah, it's so like they fast. formed this bond in the midst of battle and this in really intense connection and it was working. They were, they were synced up and Yuji is like a social chameleon in that way, like... We've known that since the beginning. He was a jock and he was super physically gifted, but he also like hung out with the occult research club, which I want to know more about. I can't wait till we get back to them and you think talk to them. Will? I think so. They're, his buddy died, right? The guy yeah. died, and then the girl was like fucked up about it. Uh, I hope so. I hope we at least talk to them again. Um, but regard, or maybe he didn't die. I think he did die. I think he got fucking killed in that attack. Regardless, um, he's always been that way. He's always been like. And then with, uh, with obviously with Junpei, Junpei was yeah. like a big movie guy, and then Yuji did just watched a bunch of movies, and he was like, oh shit, and he is like, the kind of guy to get really invested yeah. and like, really easily connect but with people in a real way. Yeah, in not, a genuine way. Not just, oh, I'm gonna pretend to like whatever they yeah. like because, so that just, I can fit he in. He just is really charismatic and bright, he has a very bright personality. And very open to what other people, if other, yeah. if someone... He's like water. He's he can fit into whatever the mm -hmm. just the conversation needs. So with with Toto, the same thing happened. But now that like they're not in the midst of battle, he's just like, okay, I like you, man. But like, give me a fucking break here, Jesus Christ! Like, <laughs> does this never end? Like, I'm not your brother. We did not go to middle school. This whole together. brother thing is like getting kind of out of hand. Like, I it's love just the relax. thing he says he won the championship with oh my middle God. school, but he, he denies it. That was so funny. We should go back and look at the ones that we missed. We missed one. We we read. Oh no, we missed two. I want to find them. It was the first one. Oh yeah, Gojo just Gojo switching it out because he wants a baseball game. <laughs> also, he like how is he just so fucking hot? No matter what he does with himself, he, he's, he's wearing like business casual. He's got a polo on with the one button undone. He's got the classic circle glasses. Super badass look. Uh, I'm def I will defend circle glasses till I die. No matter how many people make fun of me for wearing them, they're badass. The mango she was letting ripen in the refrigerator is gone. Because Wait, it was stolen. Right. Oh shit, that's what because Mai's they, was about. Because they yeah, cause, Nishimiya and Mai ate her fucking mango. Yeah, and they always eat her stuff. Cause she's like the respon she's like the mom friend. She's like the responsible one because she like has younger siblings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that's funny with her character. Miwa's best girl, in my opinion. She's pretty cool. Other than Maki. 
Maki's best girl, but Maki is, like, not really... I don't think of her as, like, best girl. She's, like, just a cool fucking person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> best girl, as far as, like, girly characters, definitely Miwa, yeah. in my opinion. Because she's hilarious. Useless Miwa. <laughs> too hard for a high schooler, maybe. Awaiting approval for a credit card. Too hard for a high schooler, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> So she can go shopping. Yeah, all she, the just time. Wants, she just wants to accrue a shitload of debt. <laughs> That's all she wants. Ugh. And uh, uh, Kamo with his mom. That's sad. I wonder if it's the the translation. Did she say "come get me" or did she say "come save me"? Because I can't. I think she said "come get me." That's what the translation was. But I'm saying the Crunchyroll has been has been very shoddy with the translation for the show. As Why would learned. you think it would be save me? Because I think I just from what I from listening to oh, okay. it is I I think that it might have been slightly different than just come get me. It, oh, they're not even circle glasses. God damn it! My point stands. Circle glasses are dope. <laughs> uh, Gojo wasn't even wearing them. But all in all, good episode. Once again, I hope that we don't get into the thing that Demon Slayer did, where the next four episodes are just nothing. Yeah. I hope that there's well, something that, to do in the next four that's episodes. That's what I'm saying is what why I think I'm hopeful is because they seem to have got, like hit all the aspects of taking a break from conflict where they they recap, they sort of like wrap it up, decide what they're going to do next and then have a fun break. But I don't know what they can do. Like four episodes is is such a weird it's exactly it's weird what happens with time. Demon Slayer. It's it's such a weird amount of time. Like it's way too short for another arc. Um the only, like, thing to give actual progression is a training, it's more training or refining mm -hmm. of, of training or introducing a new character and learning about them. But we're not going to be able to get any uh, more, like, fights to really introduce something. It's just going to be a lot more calm, which is fine. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's just, it's such a weird amount of episodes. I feel like anime often has a weird amount of episodes. The season, like, the way seasons work sometimes don't quite line up. With the pattern of the story, I yeah. found it's usually. I think it's it's uh, it's the act structure thing. I it's resolved by like the second act, a second third of the thing, and then they have a third left over mm -hmm. of because it's like it, it started at like eleven or twelve episodes. Twenty four or twenty five episodes. It seems like the last few kind of go to waste or are just okay. Wrap up compared to the rest, and then it seems that when a show is twelve episodes, it's too short, and it could have benefited for like two or three more. I really think like sixteen episodes is the perfect length, but it just doesn't fit with like yearly seasonal yeah. scheduling for like productions but 16 20 minute episodes the, the more shows i watch of like one season one long two core season or one core season it seems like if if all of them were about in the middle it would be perfect in this case i feel like they could have drawn out the first like more like given more time to the first half of the season mm -hmm. cuz parts of it really rushed through a lot of shit it felt like like that like more and more that moment with um, Fushiguro and Yuji, where Yuji was taken over by Sukuna, mm -hmm. that is like a serious character establishing moment that was like, it's clearly the the implications of that conversation have been felt throughout the rest of the story, but us watching it, not having any attachment to the characters by episode, what, four or five, weren't like blown away by that. We were just kind of like, cool fight, holy shit, new powers, don't know what any, what any of it fucking means. This is really crazy. Don't care enough about the characters to really feel this impact. Um, and, you know, like, and by episode three, we're all, we were already in the prison and, like, the big mm -hmm. thing of Yuji, like, sacrificing himself happened. And then the next episode, that shit happened. And the next episode, he came back to, like, it's just the first half of the season, they got a lot of people engaged by moving really fast. But I feel like if this episode came at episode 24 and we had two more episodes like, of worth of time sprinkled across mm. the previous, uh, the first half of the season, like, if it went to 14 episodes, I don't know how they would have broken it up specifically, how they would have lengthened certain but things, but just having that extra time throughout, like, across the entire thing, lengthening that entire first 12 episodes by two episodes of t worth of time would have been able to flesh things out and give it a lot more space to breathe. This second half has been incredible. It's just now we're suffering from, I feel like... The next four episodes are gonna be. But really at the weird. same time, we don't know. Maybe they're also we don't know they're gonna be good. We don't also know. we don't know. But again, it's you know, it's my prediction. As as much as I don't want to make this prediction, I don't want to think the worst of what's gonna happen. My expectation is based on my experience with anime and my experience with shonen is that the next four episodes we're going. It's gonna be wrap up. It's gonna be epilogue. It's gonna be setting up for the next season. 
and four episodes is too long for just that. So we're going to get some other, like maybe some training stuff, some more information, world building. It's going to be a lot of talking because um, they got all the action built up in one spot. And now they have to do all the talking afterwards, which is fine. But what I like about Shonen is that it like uses action as like as action. Like it's the action isn't just, oh, cool fight. It's experiencing the story, like getting the talking out, getting new information and breaking, th breaking the, the dialogue up. That's what action's for. Uh, I'm still excited for it. I'm sure I'm going to love these episodes, but we'll see. We'll see is basically what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I am still excited for it. We did get introduced to um, a new character fr on the bad guy side. Yes. The, the androgynous monk person. Mm-hmm possibly non-binary or something or just indistinct gender of some such uh bob cut could be a boy or a girl monk person with colored hair doesn't seem to ring any bells of the people no so which is interesting knows? i wonder what they could be if they're a cursed spirit or if they're a person mm -hmm. um i don't know because but they did get information of coat rack person yeah, but not that. Not they got that information. They got so. that, so that's good. Yeah. But since we don't, we didn't get inf any information about like anything that they might be capable of. It's I guess it's good to they, keep an eye out. But we didn't know anything before. We didn't know that 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 there was even another person there. So it's whatever. It's good. It's good. But, yeah. Uh, that's it's too bad that coat rack person was so low in the ranks that he. Also, why is Juzo always the name of creepy motherfuckers? In Tokyo Ghoul, there was Juzo, if you remember the kid with the white hair. Oh, that With kid. the stitches yeah, in I his face that. and stuff. Cool as shit character. Really interesting backstory and design and all that shit. But creepy as hell. <laughs> uh, uh, by the same token. Good mm -hmm. episode. Good episode. Can't wait to see more. Love Gojo. Love baseball episodes. Mm -hmm. A bunch of people died that were just hanging around. A shitload around. of people died. Like, a lot of people fucking died. Mahito, Mahito just like, took out everyone massacre. that was in there, yeah. Um, the two, yeah, and there were two people, like, sent there by uh, Tengen. We also learned about Tengen-sama, which I think had been teased before. We didn't understand what it meant. Um, Tengen is a tree person who is immortal, but isn't eternally youthful. So, so just gets old as just hell. Cr just like twisted and crusted up and like I imagine just like it's like I ima what I imagine it is have you ever seen those videos of like the old Indian guys who the monks who like hold up their arm in a specific way for like 20 years and then their arm turns into a fucking branch you haven't seen this what I gotta show you uh they they they're they it's it's like um they do it for Money, basically. Well, they do it for, like, a an experience of... I forget what it's called. Fucking... Experiencing human suffering and, like, enduring it. it. Like, human endurance. That's what it is. It's a test of endurance. Indian arm tree guy. I don't know if this will give me the right thing. That's not it. Although that is very creepy. Uh, that's the other guy with, like, the crazy skin condition. Indian guy hold arm up long time. <laughs> See? It's, it becomes like, it's stuck that way. He doesn't have control over that arm anymore. He probably doesn't feel it at all. His nails are all fucked. I imagine him, I imagine Tengen to look something like this guy with like his arm and shit or like just be stationary. So that's a small thing. But I, the way they described it, they said, think of him like a tree. I don't know how literally they meant that, but uh, he maybe doesn't move. He sits in the same spot and like uses, he keeps up the barriers and stuff. So that's cool. But their barriers are weak as shit if you can get in there because it's only about hiding stuff. So if you know where it is, then yeah, because it's just about it's hiding no cursed objects and stuff like that. But and it also doesn't because it's nature based. It didn't work on Hanami because Hanami is one with nature and born mm. from born of nature. Yeah. Oh, and we also there was like a subtle implication that there's a difference between like natural spirits and cursed spirits. Yeah. Which is so, cool. Which means that there are nat nature spirits like Princess or like Mononoke spirits, type yeah. stuff is what I'm. Thinking. Thinking. Like, I wonder if we'll get into that or if that. Or I if, hope so. I yeah. hope so. Maybe that's what the Shikigami are. Maybe. Maybe that. Maybe it's related to that. That like they're not just like 
apparitions. They're like living creatures that are summoned there type type mm-hmm. deal. I don't know to guess, but that would be cool if we got into that more nat- more natural stuff. Maybe there's like a druid cursed uh, energy or spirit cursed spirit user who's like a druid and uh, taps into nature energy and shit like that rather than cursed energy of like people in the city and your anger and all that stuff. They tr- they tap into like the tranquility of nature and that's how they end up defeating Hanami at some point. That would be dope as shit. Or any of the the other big curses, mm-hmm. I would I would be interested in that some some sort of alt power system change. Yeah, that would be interesting. Now that they've because they teased it, I don't know how far they're gonna go with that. I hope they go further because that seems like a really interesting direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be cool to th- throw in something now that it's been quite established. Yeah. If then if you add something in, or if you like slowly add mm-hmm. it in and then maybe like a few seasons later do it or yeah. whatever because right now it's like it's all curse energy is all about controlling your harsh emotions like your negative emotions mm-hmm. and like your anger and your sadness and regret and all that stuff it's about like keeping that under control and uh, being able to use that to your benefit but maybe a similar sort of power can be gained from positive emotion instead and maybe that'll be like a big breakthrough mm-hmm. i think that would be cool but <clears throat> i guess that's it for this episode Uh, We would please ask you that if you're still here, please like and subscribe and Mm -hmm. stay tuned for our future videos. And uh, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. Bye-bye.